18 at 6 starts now. WLFI Lafayette. News from where you live. Good evening, I'm Gina Quattrochi. And I'm Jeff Smith. Thanks for joining us tonight. In Lafayette, neighbors of Amanda and Jared Miller described the couple as weird. They worried that Amanda was too submissive to her husband. Police say the Millers are the shooters in a mass shooting in Las Vegas that killed two police officers and a bystander, then they killed themselves. News 18's Kelly Roberts has more on what the couple was like in the year leading up to Sunday's shooting. Kelly. Jeff and Gina, neighbors say the Millers wanted to go to Nevada to escape society and the government. News 18 came into contact with the couple at an anti government rally late last year in downtown Lafayette. Neighbors say no matter how odd Jared and Amanda acted, they never expected them to do what they did on Sunday. Curtis Miller lived next to Jared and Amanda Miller for a year on Weaver Street in Lafayette. On Monday, News 18 told him what the couple did. I guess they, they shot two police officers to death and then one bystander and then killed themselves. Oh my goodness. Miller, no relation to Jared and Amanda, says he was surprised the two were involved in the Las Vegas shooting, especially 22-year-old Amanda. She was very gentle. She was very kind. It's just she was so submissive that, like, he had her under his thumb. Connie Kennedy says 31-year-old Jared was often paranoid the government was watching him. He'd come outside and take pictures of the sky and go, what are you doing? He'd go, well, you see what those planes are doing to our environment, and he would talk about UFOs and... On Amanda Miller's Facebook page, she posted a video of herself and Jared at November's Million Mass March rally, a rally against corrupt government. Protesting. News 18's cameras also found the couple at the rally. According to Amanda's Facebook page, she was head of the needlework department at Lafayette's Hobby Lobby. News 18 can report federal investigators were inside the store investigating Amanda. Co-workers were told not to talk about Amanda. However, one did say she was a nice girl until she met Jared. Jeff Boswell knew Amanda as a teenager when she was in his Jeff High School orchestra class. Uh, generally, she was a, a quiet Student, um, attentive, um, played pretty well. Boswell also says he is surprised Amanda was involved in the shooting, but he admits sometimes you don't know someone when you think you do. But that's, that's kind of our world anymore. I, we're gone nuts, haven't we? He talked to Amanda while Jared was in prison. He says he told her to leave Jared, but she never did. Now, Jared did have a long criminal record here in Tippecanoe County, and News 18's Brittany Tyner has that list. Hey, Brittany. Yeah, Kelly, Jared Miller has had several run-ins with the law here in Indiana. His records here in Tippecanoe County date back to 2007. That's when he pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor charge of criminal recklessness and received a one-and-a-half-year sentence. He had also faced misdemeanor charges of possession of marijuana and paraphernalia. According to court records, he was ordered to undergo an evaluation at the Wabash Valley Hospital Mental Health Center. In 2009, he was charged with a misdemeanor count of battery resulting in bodily injury, but a jury found him not guilty. In 2010, he faced three felony drug charges, including dealing marijuana. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced to one year in community corrections and two years of supervised probation. But in February of last year, his probation was revoked and he was ordered to serve 180 days in community corrections. The Tippecanoe County Jail has provided a list of all the times Miller has been booked in. Lafayette Police Chief Patrick Flannelly would not say much on the department's history with Miller. I believe... Uh, one of those contacts did involve a firearm again at this point. Um, we just, you know, we're, we're in the process of reviewing those contacts ourselves uh, so we can provide a summary. Flannelly says the department received a phone call today from the coroner's office in Clark County, Nevada. LPD had to contact Amanda's parents and Jared's mother, notifying them of the deaths. For more information on Miller's criminal history in Tippecanoe County, head to our website at WLFI.com. Brittany Tyner, News 18.